shot my weapon irresponsibly. From the back of a squad car, a sheriff's deputy admits he fired guns irresponsibly into a residential neighborhood and a church, but he faces no criminal charges. Hello and good evening, I'm Steve Eager. The Somerville County Sheriff's deputy said he was drunk and angry over the ambush on Dallas police. He has been fired, but there are big questions about why he's not facing any criminal charges. Sean Rabb has the story you will see only on Fox 4. Sean. So, Steve, one of the reasons he faces no charges is because the pastor of the church that was damaged didn't want to go through with charges. But the Ellis County District Attorney, where all of this played out, is furious tonight and feels 27-year-old William Cox was shown favoritism in how he was treated after his arrest. Man, I'm sorry. William Cox was the Somervale County Sheriff's Deputy July 13th when he was crying and appeared drunk in the parking lot of an Ellis County church early in the morning. Ovilla officers responding to a 911 call for shots fired. This is Ovilla police body cam. Cox tells the officer. Because my boys are getting killed in Dallas. The deputy referring to the ambush attack that killed five officers July 7th in Dallas. The black coats started killing our boys in Dallas. The Ovilla officer detains Cox, putting him in handcuffs until a sheriff's deputy arrived. <laughs> Cox confessed he was upset over the police ambush, got very drunk, and had to let off stress. His stress relief was to fire guns in a residential neighborhood in the parking lot of the Shiloh Cumberland Presbyterian Church. Yeah, there's three shots here. Church's pastor, Vernon Sansom, can be heard on the Ellis County deputy's recording. There was damage in the sanctuary of the church where some of Cox's relatives are longtime members. Cox charged with deadly conduct and taken to Ellis County Jail. The same day Cox was arrested, the pastor signed what's called an affidavit of non-prosecution. Cox was released from jail the next day, never having to post bail. This was Cox when he was taken into custody. And this is the jail bookend photo of William Cox we received in open records request. A photograph of a brick wall. No picture of Cox, who once worked as a jailer in Ellis County. Not like other cases involving law enforcement, according to the Ellis County DA. Here's another former Ellis County Sheriff's Office currently working in a different Sheriff's Department when he was booked into your jail. Here's the Chief of the May Pearl Police Department who was arrested and booked into your jail. All of their damn pictures are on your system. Law enforcement doesn't need a complainant in all cases to prosecute. Discretion leaves the final decision to the arresting agency. This, in my mind, is a tremendous abuse of that discretion. And in today's climate, it's inexcusable. And Wilson, angry. I cannot understand how these facts escape the narrative of favoritism. We contacted Ellis County Sheriff Johnny Brown. We wanted to talk to him about the Cox case and the circumstances surrounding it. But he told us that his department was through with it, that he had no dog in the hunt, and that he would have no comment. The district attorney says his office will conduct its own investigation now. The criticism that is being lobbed against law enforcement and the criminal justice system in general in our community and our society today, the foundation of that criticism is what's illustrated in this case, and that is favoritism, that some people in the criminal justice system get treated differently. And how can I dispel that narrative when these facts completely support that? Now, the Somerville County Sheriff's Department terminated Cox, who'd worked there since 2011 and was a model employee immediately upon learning what happened. The chief deputy there telling me you can't get past shooting up a church. The pastor told me by phone today he didn't want charges filed because, Steve, it's all about forgiveness. Now, again, we called Sheriff Johnny Brown a second time, wanting to still give him an opportunity to respond to the suggestion of favoritism, and he did not call us back. And he's the guy who says they got no dog in the hunt, but he clearly does. They're the investigative agency. Sean, let me ask you a question. If they choose not to get involved, you have on tape this, this Officer Cox saying, I, I'm sorry, I, I fired off shots, essentially a confession. Can't uh, uh, an agency up the line, maybe DPS or the Attorney General, take this over and step in? So as we mentioned, the uh, district attorney says he and his office will launch their own investigation. He's sending his chief investigators out to the pastor of the church, to uh, Cox, and to look at all of the evidence. That is the same stuff we've acquired through open records. They'll make their own findings, and it is still possible this case will go to an Ellis County grand jury for ultimate uh, deciding whether William Cox, who you see there in the back seat of that squad car, will face charges on deadly conduct.